Welcome to Urban Combat Self-Defense. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you about the training session I just had with uh, Tom. Uh, so Tom started training with me when he was about 14 years old and he's continued his training. Uh, he's now 17 and training a teenager in life defense it really spoke to me because uh, in a way, especially with what's going on in today's society, I believe that um, it's very important for uh, teenagers to learn how to defend themselves against a knife or have that confidence to know what to do if it comes across, if they ever come across it themselves. Uh, okay, so because um, especially in this uh, day and age that we live in, um, it's very, very important to learn and develop yourself and to have as much knowledge as possible in um, knife defense training. Okay. And uh, unfortunately, I, I personally have found, uh, not, I'm not putting it down, uh, anything like that, but I've found that traditional styles um, these days don't really go into it that deeply. Um, but uh, there are some traditional styles that do. And mostly those guys who do teach it in traditional arts are the old school um, uh, practitioners from back in the day because they did used to practice it. Like I said, um, you know, at the end of the day, martial arts at this time it is very commercialized and that's great and it's very important to do that and spread the martial arts. But um, if you want to truly learn uh, the principles and uh, go deeper into it, I suggest that you find an inst instructor that's been training in it and has some knowledge about uh, street self-defense and has been in certain situations themselves as well. Okay, and uh, that's what I believe um, that you should try and do to develop yourself uh, into the best way you can uh, as a, a martial artist and a human being. But uh, like I try and mention to all my students is um, if you ever come across a confrontation or uh, someone trying to um, stab you, you have to, first thing you have to do is run. Okay, running, get away from the situation is the most important element. Okay, so um, always go with that in your mind. Okay, run away the best way you can, fast as you can, and don't get into the situation in the first place. Okay, combat self defense. Okay, so um, these days I know a lot of teenagers and even adults are uh, going around using this in gang members and stuff like that in gangs, but I'm um, you're doing really not doing the right thing by society, okay? Uh, it's not right to use this. Uh, back in the old days, um, we used to use our fists if you had a problem with each other and sort it out. But this is the worst thing, this is wrong, okay? Because at the end of the day, you're taking a life and life is very important, okay? You're actually hurting someone's family and that's, that's wrong. You have to take a step back and think about what you're doing, okay? There, okay, so boom, here, so it comes off. And this. Now from here, I lock him this way. Now he's got another hand. If he does punch me in the face, this is why I lock him here, double lock him, okay? <clears throat> the techniques I did with Tom in our training is very basic. It's got basic uh, parrying, uh, blocking, locking, and also breaking. Um, as you saw, I did the knee strike as well, so it's to the knee. Um, so it's very, uh, yeah, like I said, it's basic movements um, for self-defense purposes. What I suggest is you go through it very slowly in the beginning when you're practicing. Uh, yeah, practice it slowly and then gradually do it fast, okay, with full speed. But if you do, if you go and do it full speed, uh, you might make a mistake. You might hurt your partner that you're working with, and you don't want to hurt your partner. You want to make sure he's okay and make sure he feels comfortable about doing it fast and more more um, devastatingly. Um, not to a point where you hurt your partner, like I said, just to a point where um, you get to um, go through it with him. Okay, so yeah, just uh, when you're practicing, um, do it step by step, and gradually develop and move on, and you'll get you get faster as the time goes on. Okay, okay. Hope that helps, and uh, hope you enjoyed today's training, and uh, hope you take away the ideas and use it in a positive manner.